So, what do I think about this pedal after using it for two years? Well, stay tuned and find out. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Moomba Outdoors. Today I'm at a local lake, just paddling around, getting my exercise. This is how I exercise. I don't go to the gym, but I exercise on the water. Today, I'm gonna to give you guys a review of Bending Branches Navigator. I've been using this paddle for two years now, and I think I can finally give you guys a long-term review of this paddle the short version is i love it so the longer version is let me explain why i love it so the first reason is this is light very light it's got the carbon shaft and it's got the wooden blade as you see if you go to their website the picture does not do any justice if you see this thing in real life oh man this thing is gorgeous Looking good is not really uh, the, one of the reasons, but you know, it doesn't hurt to have a good looking paddle, right? The blade is made out of basswood and red alder. Shiny, shiny, because it's got the fiberglass coating on it. So at the edge, you got a strip of rock bar, which works really well. Protecting the blade from getting chipped from the rocks, concrete, and it's, this thing is solid. Take a look at the blade I've been using for two years. I abuse this blade. It's a little worn out, it's got some scratches uh, but if you look at the rock bar around the edge uh, that this thing really really protects the blade so both of them is adjustable this is the old system where you have to use the indexer and you twist to get to the right angle you want and right and white length but sometimes it's a little guessing game so usually I'll have to do it a couple times to get the exact angle that I want but with the new person lock you just undo the lever you adjust the length however you want you adjust the angle there's a marking right there and you just close the lever and it's solid is locked in place so so much easier to use this the new versa lock than the plus twist and lock so i think it's a huge upgrade so i mentioned i like it because it's so light so how light is it uh, it's really light it's actually a little bit heavier than the fiberglass plate, a couple of ounces. Like my Aqua Bond Whiskey, this is a carbon shaft with the fiberglass plate. This is a little bit lighter, a couple of ounces lighter, which makes it really, really light. The advantage of having a wooden paddle, well, I cannot speak for different brand. I don't know how they perform, never tried it. But with the vending wedge navigator, it's very forgiving. Sometimes, especially when you're a beginner, when you try to paddle and you put the paddle in the wrong angle and the blade kind of flutters. So to prevent that, a lot of paddles have this dihedral design, which helps with the flutter, so they don't flutter as much. But with this guy, even though it does not have a dihedral design, it's pretty much flat, just a little bit of curve. It's super, super forgiving, especially when you're a beginner. And when you are exiting the paddle out of the water, the idea is you wanna slice it out of the water. You don't wanna lift the water. That means you are doing more work 
lifting the water. You just want to keep simply slice the paddle out of the water. The wooden blade is so buoyant, it kind of does the work for you. It, it, it wants to come out of the water, just like that. Take a look at that. Boom. It automatically comes out of the water. I'm not doing anything with my left hand. So the, even though the wooden blade is a couple of ounces heavier than the fiberglass, um, it feels easier, feels like you are using less energy because it kind of does the work for you. Plus, the blade is very forgiving. Especially when you're a beginner, you're gonna have a good stroke pretty much every time. So the, this blade is narrow and long. It's made for low angle paddling, which is more relaxed paddling, versus the high angle, wider blade. The wider blade will give you more horsepower, more distance per stroke. For me, since I'm paddling long distance for, during my fishing trip, I really love the low angle. If you want to go a little bit faster, you just have to go a little faster cadence. But you're not using so much effort into each stroke. So with the high angle wide blade, why did I get this? I wanted a paddle with a little more horsepower to help me with surf launches and especially surf landings because I wanted to get up to the speed really fast to chase the wave when I'm landing so I don't get hit by the big wave that's coming from behind me. So if you guys know me, all the gear I have is affordable gear. Affordable but good quality. But when it comes to paddle, you really, really get what you pay for. More expensive rod is not gonna help you catch more fish, right? But with the good paddle, you are going to be able to go to longer distance or stay on the water longer before you get tired out. Typically, I'm paddling a long distance, long day on the water, so the Bending Branch Navigator is a perfect paddle for me. I love this paddle. Don't get me wrong, this paddle is great too. I can get up to speed really fast and it's super light. Like I said, lighter than this one. But for long distance, long day on the water, uh, I could not be happier. So when I was reviewing a kayak, I got a chance to use one of these uh, Bending Branches Navigator. And I also try out the uh, Angler Navigator, which is a wider blade, high angle, more horsepower. First time I tried them out, I fell in love. I was like, man, this paddle is so great. I still consider myself as a beginner paddler, but especially at that time, I was like total, total beginner when it comes to paddling. And it felt so good, because it was so forgiving. Even now, each stroke feels good. I love it. Picking out the right paddle, this could be a little confusing, a little overwhelming, because they, have, they use so many different materials, they use so many different combinations of materials. If you are in the market for a paddle, I recommend watching how to choose a right paddle. I'll leave that video in the link in the description for you guys to uh, check it out so you can make more informed decision. This was a review of Bending Branches Navigator after using it for two years. And obviously everything I said today is my personal experience, my personal preference. So if you guys have a certain paddle that you like the most, why don't you share that in the comments section down below. And of course, if you have any questions, comment down below as well. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more and go outside and enjoy the outdoors.